What's good, everybody? It's D. Brown Shanghai, and today we're going to be doing a story time of all things. Now, I never thought that I would be on my channel telling these stories, but people were asking for them in the videos of the most overpowered players in 2K history because I always make references back to, like, you know, how I found out how I found out that these players were really good in these old games or whatever. And people were like, yo, tell the story, tell the story. So I was like, you know what? I do have some, some funny stories that are 2K related that I can tell on the channel. And I was talking to one of my boys just the other day, and he reminded me of this story. And, and it reminded me how hilarious it was. So I'm going to share it with y'all, and maybe y'all will get some entertainment out of this. All right, so I'm going to take y'all back to 2010 or 11. I, I can't remember exactly which year. This was a long time ago. Like, I reached out to my friends to ask them, and nobody, nobody don't remember anything any more than I do. So I can tell you this. It was either 2K11 or 2K12, and it was the online leagues where you could choose how many people were, like, how many teams would be in the league. Like, you could go as low as eight. Well, no, there, was, there wasn't eight teams. It was, like, four, it was 14 teams, I think. And because it was so few teams, everybody's teams were stacked. Like, everybody had at least two superstars on their team. And back then, we didn't mind because we didn't have an issue with having stacked teams. And we weren't looking to play with anybody outside of our friend group because they would just make everything. We would have to wait for them. Like, they wouldn't understand how we had to. Like, we had a very good system, and it worked perfectly. Except this time. Except in this story. For y'all to understand why this story is so funny to me, I have to give y'all a little bit of backstory on my friends. So, back in the day, our core group was me. I, I'm not going to use their real names. It's, it's nicknames. It's me, my homeboy T, my homeboy B, my homeboy Johnny, my homeboy Josh, and my homeboy Space. And we would all play 2K together like an absurd amount. Like when we got home from school, when we finished like whatever sport we had to do or or whatever extracurriculars we had to do, we were on 2K together almost every night. Unless somebody's parents had something to say about it. We would play that game nonstop. So in this particular story, we were in an online league. This happened to be probably what was our best online league that year because we did them all throughout the year and we would like sometimes people would get tired of it and you know we'd be like yo you want to start a new league and everybody would be like you know what yeah let's start a new league but this league in particular was going great we were finishing games in record speed like we would have had the playoffs started in the fastest time that we ever had it before it would have been like way less under like we probably would have had the playoffs started in like four days the way everybody was playing their games people were making trades and it was just like everything was just happening so fast. It was like, all right, bet this, this league is moving good. This league is moving good. So, you know, there's always got to be somebody who's not satisfied. And my boy B was not satisfied with a, with a stacked team. And I should also mention that this was not our first league. Now, this was like we had played tons of leagues already. Like the league before we were happy with, but one of our friends got mad and quit. I'm not going to say who, but you know who you are. You quit and... But anyway, that don't got nothing to do with it. So, my homeboy B decided, you know what? I'm not happy with my stack team. I'm pretty sure this man's team... I know the two players that he had were Melo and Durant. And this is 2K11 or 2K12 Melo. So, yes. The two best scorers in the game on the same team. Somehow, this man got Brian. Yes. He, he got Brian from a computer. There were computer teams in the league. And back then, the trade AI wasn't the greatest. Like, now it's very hard to get a superstar in 2K in the online league from a bot. But back then, like I said, draft pick. If you got some draft picks, some potential players, like players with potential who are young with a nice overall, you could have get a superstar. And so this is in the league. This is in the league for, like, well, a few, I don't know, I don't know, maybe, like, a few hours. I saw it that morning before I was leaving to go to school. And so when I see this, of course, my first reaction is, no, like, my nigga, you can't. Who, who was allowing this? Who accepted this trade, bro? Somebody got to do something about this because I didn't have a great team. I had a good team. You know, I didn't have a team that could compete with Melo, Braun, and KD. Why would, who, who going to compete with that? So that morning when I get to school, I find my friends B and Spates, and apparently neither one of them knew what happened. B didn't know that his trade went through, and Spates didn't know that, that B was about to get LeBron. So, uh... You know, I, I asked B, I was like, I was like, B, you, uh, you, you was in the league this morning? And he's like, nah, what's up? And I was like, yeah, bro, you got Brian. He was like, he was like, I got Brian? Yeah, my nigga, you got Brian. So fast forward, we all get home. No, no, I'm, I, I can't skip that. When everybody find out, everybody like, how we get Brian? I was like, it's a computer trade. So everybody was on the same page as I am. This is not fair. We can't allow this to happen. So, so we all in the league later that night, everybody playing their games and whatnot. And, uh... All right, so I forgot to mention a key element in this story. Back in the day, during these leagues, B would take advantage of Josh because they were best friends, 
And and Josh didn't know that much about basketball, so he would B would coerce him into to making dumb trades. Like the reason B had Carmelo Anthony and Kevin Durant is because he traded Paul Pierce for Kevin Durant to Josh, which even back then is, is still a dumb trade. So you can add that to the list of reasons I was fed up with, you know, with the dumb the dumb trades and trickery, you know? But back to the story. And I don't know what came over me, but suddenly my evil Kermit was out, you know? He, he was talking to me, he, he pulled up on me and he was like, yo. Delete that nigga trade, bro. Yeah, I know. I know that's. I know that's your best friend. I know that's your best friend. I know this league means a lot to you guys. You know. I know he's gonna be upset if you if you uh, veto his trade, but uh, veto that trade. It's only right. And I don't know why. You can blame it on me being young, immature, uh, a butthole. I was a very. I, I was a very mean person when I was a young fella. But uh, I, I vetoed the trade. Yeah, without a doubt, I, I vetoed the trade because back then. The way that veto trades work was anybody in the league could veto a trade, not just the person who who started the league, but anybody could veto a trade. And depending on like I guess just some AI stuff, it's just like you veto the trade, and then the AI determines if this trade is actually fair or not. So uh, I vetoed the trade, and then you know I vetoed the trade. I didn't tell nobody. We was all in the Xbox party. I ain't say nothing. I, I vetoed the trade. And then I went to play my game. So I'm in my game just in case anybody be like, yo, somebody vetoed the trade. You can't blame D Brown because I got an alibi. I'm in the game right now. So I veto the trade, start my game immediately. About I'm in the second quarter. And I'll remember this next part for the rest of my life. I am convinced. Hello? AT, bro. Yeah. I got a real quick question. Yeah. You remember that time when uh when uh when I when I I vetoed uh B trade and I didn't tell nobody I did it and everybody thought Josh did it. Yeah. How did that conversation go exactly? Cause I remember it was some real funny stuff when B was like, "Oh y'all done fucked up now, y'all done fucked up now." What did he say after that? Cause I remember Josh, it was something funny, bro. I just can't remember it. You talking about like what was said? Yeah. Do you remember what was said? I can't really remember. I think Josh had left the party. Uh, he left the party. I think. He left. Yeah. Was, you know, that way everybody starts saying who that you had really good trade and everybody was laughing. That's all I can remember. Word. For sure. This man B came in the party out of nowhere just like, oh, y'all don't f***ed up now. Y'all don't f***ed up now. Y'all don't f***ed up now. Who vetoed my trade? Who vetoed my trade? I'm about to f*** everything up. And he, he did. He he, he did F everything up. He, he went through. And every trade that was, you know, that was sitting, waiting, um, for it to go through because back in the day trades weren't instant in 2k you made a trade then you had to wait like 12 hours or something like that or 24 hours uh, all the trades that were waiting this man B went through and I, I, I bull crap you not he vetoed every single trade that was happening in the league he vetoed every last one of them and everybody thought Josh did it I don't remember Josh said something bro Josh said something but I don't I don't remember what he said he said something that made everybody think that he did it. Maybe it was like you that's what you get or something like that. But but uh, everybody thought Josh did it except me because obviously nigga I did the shit. But what followed was uh Josh leaving the party. But once Josh left the party, it kind of dawned on us how funny it was that literally a league that we had been so happy with and we were, you know, we were very pleased with this league. This was like the best league we had done up to this date. We were laughing at how in literally like 30 seconds we ruined the whole league and every we all knew after that happened that you know we were quitting the league so pretty much over the next few days what happened was uh we all came to the conclusion that we will make a new league we all quit that league and we made a new one and uh it's, it's kind of funny because that when we made that new league i remember this too we were all we were all waiting for uh the draft to start i think i said the draft for like 10 30 that night and we were all online watching the lakers and clippers game together and that was the night that Blake Griffin dunked on Paul Gasol like two times. I, I, I remember because I was like, I was at my sister's house and I was watching the game with some of my sister friends while I was on the mic with my friends. And it was just like, that was like, you know, that's one of those moments in basketball that was like, oh, like he got him two times. Like it wasn't no like little, oh, I put my hands up and got dunked on. It wasn't one of those. Like he, y'all remember that. I'll put it on the screen if y'all don't. Boy left wide open. Griffin, oh! for the screen two-man game Blake Griffin explodes on Gasol but yeah that's all I got for y'all today man 
I hope that story is as funny to y'all as it is to us because like literally if somebody brings that story up today and we're all together we we, we start laughing so hard like it, it, it's it's hilarious like if you were there to know like how everything happened it just like it just popped off and it just popped off so quick I'm in a game of 2k and then 30 seconds later this whole league is ruined because some dumb stuff that I did that, because I thought it would have been funny and I wanted to be an asshole it was like but kind of, that's what you get B that's what you get. And, and now I'm thinking about it. It might not have been for LeBron. It might have been for Derrick Rose. I, I, I'm kind of getting a little bit of a little bit of clarity on that. It might have been for Rose. That's that. But that's just as bad in 2K11 and 12. Y'all know how Derrick Rose was back then. Now, come on, bro. You, you might as well have been Bron. Shit. But if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. But as always, I'm D Brown Shanheim, and I'm up out of here, man. Always confident, there's nothing that I mentally fear Except giving in to new trends Never look for new friends Cause I don't wanna ride with some loose ends I barely pay a rent but it don't matter They tell me bring a plate but I'ma show up with the platter Here's the ladder to success, better grab it for it's too late I'ma be a multi-million dollar man while you hate Don't ask who's great, I'm in your vicinity Privacy.